All right, we're getting back into the horror prompts. So, yay. It's been a while, it's been a hot minute since I've done all of this, but we will now go on to continue on with the next prompt. So uh, I will turn to the page now and we'll see what we've got. I have no idea this, I, I, don't, I didn't even look first. I just grabbed this book and just I've just started filming. So that's no joke. I don't know what's next. So let's have a look. So that one was the last one, I think. Yep, here we go. So that's it. So the next prompt in this book that we're going to be doing for the horror prompt series is a playful piranha. Oh, don't mind my dog, he's sucking. Ticey, what's wrong? You good? All right, so um, I'll try to brainstorm something here. I'm a little bit frazzled at the moment. My pff, brain's going a million miles an hour. But, um, so we've got a playful piranha, so um so these are not going to be awesomely polished designs just going to get a fish and so i'm just sort of trying to remember what a piranha looks like off the top of my head without getting a reference but it's teeth and they're scary looking and he's playful Hmm, I don't know what to do with a playful piranha. I don't know. Um, so we've got these big teeth. Um, oh, I really don't know. I'm sort of a bit stuck here to how to make a piranha playful. We'll just do something evil here. So we've got all these teeth. And then they've got these, oh, this nose. They've got like these fins that come up and and then the tail. Um, look, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sort of sort of a bit stumped here. So what I might do is I might just go deal with my puppy first, see what he wants, and then I'm just gonna have to brainstorm something here because I um, I haven't done this for so long and I'm struggling to brainstorm on the spot so <laughs> um, yeah so I'm, I'm gonna go away and I'm going to just try and you know think of something to do with a playful piranhas because I'm I'm stumped come on Tysi let's go deal with you puppy boy If you don't know what a piranha is, then you are probably living under a rock. But they are these terrifying things. Murderous water raptors. But these things actually causing a human death entirely is rare and most people usually drown before being set upon, mauled and stripped of their flesh. You guys think Australia has all the deadly animals. Nah, -uh. at least we got none of this shit. Except these... Uh, let's move on. These freshwater, razor-sharp teeth omnivores that have a name, piranha, that means toothfish, reside in South America, in the Amazon basin rivers, lakes, floodplains, and reservoirs. They are usually a shy fish, but can get aggressive in breeding season and when food is scarce. The red belly and black piranhas are the most aggressive, and are just some of roughly 30 to 60 species in the world. These guys grow in between 12 to 35 centimeters long, and the red belly piranha I mentioned before can grow bigger than 50 centimeters. They hunt prey in schools, usually feeding on other fish, but they are known to eat some plants, mammals, birds and reptiles, insects, crustaceans, fruit, seeds and leaves, so they aren't really that fussy. If they attack humans, it's usually minor injuries such as bites and chunks taken from fingers and toes and nothing usually life-threatening. The male in the pack is apparently usually the one that attacks. So now that we have a quick rundown of this creature out of the way, let's get into some stories that may or may not have been directly caused by piranhas. On the 2nd of January 2022, a 22-year-old man was swimming near the Paraguay River, called Ita Enramada, 
on a family outing. Allegedly, a pack of piranhas attacked him and pulled him under the water, and this was witnessed by his family members. He didn't resurface and went missing, so the family called police, and after 45 minutes of searching for him, his body was found with severe bite marks all over, especially his face. In a separate incident, a 49-year-old man went swimming in the Paraguay River in Puerto Rosario, and drowned after an alleged piranha attack. Once again, like the young man I mentioned before, he had severe bite marks to his face, but an autopsy showed that the man was probably dead before the piranhas mauled him, as it appeared that he'd had a heart attack. On the 27th of January, 2015, a six-year-old girl named Adrilla Munners was with her grandmother and four other children that were related to her, canoeing on the Makura River, near Monte Alegre, Brazil, when the canoe capsized in a storm. The grandmother was able to save the four children, but was unable to reach a driller, and unfortunately she drowned. When her body was found, she had been mauled by the piranhas, and most of the flesh from her legs was gone. A 30-year-old man in Brazil jumped into a farm like municipality of Brazil Andia de Minas, trying to escape a swarm of bees. He apparently drowned and was eaten by piranhas. His body ended up being so disfigured, such as his face and other body parts being severely mauled, and he was only found four meters from the shore before being recovered. Two people swimming in the Tabiculary River, Villa, Florida, were found dead with bite marks all over their bodies. An 18-year-old man in 2011, who was drunk, jumped out of a canoe in the Rosario del Yatta, Bosnia, and was set upon by the piranhas. He apparently bled to death from his injuries. He apparently was a regular fisherman to the river and knew it very well, but police suspected suicide or maybe he was just so drunk and not thinking. So now I know what we are all thinking. How long would it take a piranha to strip flesh? Well, piranhas do go into a feeding frenzy once they smell blood. But if you are not bleeding or splashing around and making noise, they will apparently leave you alone. Apparently, though, it would take in between 300 to 500 piranhas to completely devour a human in five minutes. Teddy Roosevelt, who was the president of the U.S. at the time in 1913, visited the Amazon jungle and witnessed a pack of piranhas devouring a dead cow in a few minutes. These little shits move through the water at 20 to 30 kilometers per hour, so they are fast little fuckers. But because of Roosevelt and Hollywood, these creatures were given a bad rap and were exaggerated. Also, in a 1972 study of the red belly piranha, they found that they would attack their preys, tails and eyes first, so their preys were blinded and immobilized. So that would be the tails of other fish, so they couldn't swim away. And also, when it comes to people being attacked in the faces, that's the reason why they go straight for the eyes of, of humans. Even, even if they are dead, it's obviously instinct. Believe it or not, they aren't at the top of the food chain in the places they live. Their threats are large birds, freshwater crocodiles, river dolphins, and other large fish. When they hunt or just swim in packs, which can be up to 500 in the pack, the older piranhas seem to be in the center of the pack and the younger ones are on the outside to protect the quote-unquote older, wiser piranhas. So the packs are formed out of safety, not actually a force to be reckoned with, apparently. This fish is also a delicacy in Brazil and is eaten with lime, tomatoes and served on banana leaves. Or if you like them even more than that, you can have them as pets. Their interlocked shark-like teeth are so sharp that they can easily slice through meat, bones and even metal. Their teeth are also shed and replaced several times throughout their roughly 10 to 20 year lifespan. I must admit, before I actually started delving into the facts of a piranha, I honestly thought that you could not go into a river that had piranhas. I honestly thought that they would fully attack you. Most of the time, 
they don't just target people or or whatever they will um, attack if you're bleeding like the worst thing you could do is obviously go into a river with blood or if you die and they you know you're just obviously floating around they'll have a crack at you and I suppose it only takes one to do one chunk one bite in uh, in the in your flesh and then it sets the rest of them off so but yeah once that happens yeah, you're basically screwed or the corpse or whatever is floating down the river is basically screwed because they're just all going to come in and have a bloody feeding frenzy, aren't they? Yeah, apparently they got a pretty keen sense of smell on them too. Like they can sense a drop of blood from a mile away. You guys in Brazil can have them. We've got our own problems <laughs> here in Australia, which the rest of the world loves to poke fun at. So, and and to be honest with you, it's not as bad as you guys think it is here in Australia. Yeah, we've got some poisonous deadly snakes and sharks and crocodiles and all sorts. But as long as you don't go into certain areas uh, where they are and you don't ignore signs, you're not going to die. And it's not everywhere. But anyway, what do you think about these facts about piranhas? Is there anything else? Well, these are just the main facts about them. Uh, yeah, if you want to go and have a look at the rest of the information on these little critters, go right ahead, knock yourself out. Is there anything else that... Uh, that you know of with these creatures have you had experience with them do you know someone who's been mauled by one or been bitten by one or anything like that let me know in the comment section so the illustration that i did for this horror prompt today is of a playful piranha obviously because that was what the prompt was but i have been watching the last kingdom so i got a little bit of inspiration from uh the characters in that show and i decided to make this uh piranha quite colorful uh, as well. I don't usually work with such bright colours, but I really wanted to use uh, Violet Connie's watercolour palette again because I really like her watercolours and I wish that she would actually make them again and start doing all that stuff again because I really, really miss her watercolours and hi Connie if you're watching, uh, if you still watch my channel, uh, I still love your watercolors and i still use them i love them so yeah this little piranha is a warrior he's a little warrior um piranha and he likes to go around and start fights and cut people's limbs off and that's what he's done and this particular human that he's cut this arm from is giving him the finger because that's the last thing that this person did before this thing you know cut his arm off with the sword or one of his many swords even the these sword sheaths on the back of his little side back part there he's got his little warrior vest on so yeah that's where that came from this is actually my second attempt i actually did a first illustration that i absolutely hated which i'll have on the screen uh i actually don't do too many of these uh where i have to redo a picture twice it's very rare usually i get it right the first time but when i do get it wrong i will you know i will show you guys that uh yeah, I am uh, not the flawless artist you think I am, and you probably, probably don't think I'm very flawless anyway. I'm not saying that my art's flawless. I'm just saying that uh, I do everything first go uh, flawlessly when it comes to a piece. Not always. I'm not that perfect. I'm far from perfect, to be completely honest with you. But, you know, I just do what I do, and I just enjoy it. And also, if you can't hear in my voice, I'm still stuffed up. I'm still sick, so I'm more nasally than ever. Regulars to my channel, you will uh, would have known that I suffer from massive sinus issues. So my voice is always, without a doubt, nasally anyway. Uh, but it's even worse when I have a cold or have my sinuses flare up and I get a bit of an infection. If you want to watch some of my other horror prompts, I have a playlist. Go knock yourself out. This is... Uh, the 19th one that I've done I'm going to start doing these a lot more because I really really in do enjoy doing these and I'm going to incorporate them a bit more I've got to start getting back to some of my other stuff that I was doing prior to me going full uh full tilt into the conspiracies aliens scary facts and um you know true crimes videos and all that sort of stuff so yeah I'm going to try to uh get back on top of that Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you watched the rest of whatever's left of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.